um, we will talk about about making decisions and how to raise the kids and that particular topic a lot of people think that whether they should make decisions for their kids or not there's something that people always wonder that how to raise the kids and I'll talk about this today about this particular topic to speak about this whole thing first thing we need to understand is children only come through you they don't come from you they're not your property to be conducted with whichever way you think it fits no no they are not if you treat them if you treat them as your property or your future investment if you treat them as such you are committing as such as sacrilege as creation and the creator See, simply it will a creation it will simply come in the form of life or it will come in the form of the creation it's very unfortunate to see that I'm saying this a very it's a very cruel thing to say what I'm saying this because it's a fairly it's, it's a very cruel thing to be a, a child the child doesn't need that see and see in so many way you are doing things that is possible that it means depends on you in some way or another you're not thinking of liberating him so the moment you start working you want your children to be attached to you isn't it well you yourself open Bhagavad Gita and 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 tell your children that oh you should you should be you shouldn't be attached by reading Bhagavad Gita to anything but you are expecting your children to be attached to you so you want your children to be attached to you that's how is that even logical so before you choose to have children you must think about this but if it's already happened then now at least you have to think about this properly seriously one thing is if you want to produce something little better than yourself to the world it's important if you produce a child it must be at least one step better than you isn't it the same nonsense is gonna happen once again then what's the point so something better than you has to happen so first and most fundamental thing is you are 100% straight even if it's embarrassingly straight you have to be straight 100% straight is important it's something very hard for most parents because it's the only place where they get to boss around they have a committed audience they're like their children wherever else they speak nobody will listen to them children till they become 12 years of age 13 is a dangerous till they become 12 years of age you have a committed audience you are losing that also yeah I understand much earlier sometimes much earlier you're losing it nowadays so uh, depends on how old they are if they are young there is enough room for correction you must do this stop pairing in them what they need is some good company not a bloody boss walking around breathing on their neck yes or no when you were growing up did you like it did you talk did you like talking down did you like your parents talking down to you what they need is a friend they don't lead bloody father and mother that job is already done fathering somebody mothering somebody means you gave birth you have done your job biologically delivering them that's done now they are trying to become alive by themselves what they need is a friend the only qualification you have against them over them is you came here a few decades earlier than them a few years over what else you have over them are you sure you're more intelligent than your child are you sure yes relatively easy question to answer so the most important thing is to understand is that you came here a few years earlier than them all you have done is that you landed here few years earlier than them apart from that you don't have any qualification to tell them what to do and what not to do but the other consideration is if you don't tell them somebody else unqualified advice on the street that will happen they will get in touch with bad company and somebody else who is not supposed to tell them what to do what not they will tell them you 
you only have to guard them against that. But if you have to guard them against that, then you must have the courage to bring them up in such a way that they don't take any advice from you either. You say what? I say you must listen. But don't listen to your friend. Oh, he is telling you to take a drug. Don't listen to him. But what the friend says seems to be more of a pleasure than the nonsense you are talking about. That's a fact, isn't it? That's why it's not going to work. If you bring up your child with such a fierce sense of his own intelligence, as in his own decisions, then you will see, he will seek help. Because you will very easily realize that his intelligence, is, uh, his understanding is not good enough for everything. But if you bring up that he has to listen to his, your advice, then he will come up, he will come up with the revelationness. Even if you say something good, he will not do that. He will do the opposite of it. That's what most of the parents are experiencing, isn't it? He was just the reverse of it. Because just to feel independent, because he doesn't know the meaning of independence. So, if he's four years, five years, it's not bad. You can start thinking him as one more person. You can treat him as a person rather than treating him or her as a child. Whatever you supposed to have done as a parent, you already have done. You gave them a physical body. Now, you can't create a life. Don't have such big idea about yourself that you can create a life. You cannot create a life. You just provided some substance, some genetic substance to make a body. That you, you didn't think about all those things, I'm sure. You just did something and they landed up. Just think about it, if it's true or not. Yes? Maybe. So, understanding that a child is not your making, it's a privilege that they come through you. Enjoy the privilege. Respect the privilege. Do not abuse the privilege that has been given to you. Why are you brought up this or that? You're supposed to grow up as a human being, isn't it? It is just that most people never create an atmosphere for the people to grow. They brought up the way they want them to be. Now, the way they should be at life. If you are not ramming up nonsense into their head, into their head, they have tremendous sense of observation. And observation naturally pops up a million questions. You also ended up lots of questions. If they will ask you several questions, if you know, answer them. If you don't know, just tell them. I don't know. It's not that you have to answer everything. Oh, my you just came up here before like several years earlier than them that doesn't mean that you have to know everything you can be ignorant as well but you need to have the courage to admit that that you don't know but you will find out the information and that will build up their trust on you that they can rely on you for certain information they can come to you when they feel inquisitive when they have any question that's what you want so, you think they can't read? Uh, do you think they can't even see it if they can't read it? If you think they can't see it, I want you to know by the time they are 10, 12, 13, if they have some problem within them, they don't come to you. They will go to France. Why? Because they, they feel they are more sincere than you. No, there isn't. Yes or no? You are acting like you dropped from heaven. Some... Who wants to listen to your nonsense unless they are so bloody brainwashed by the time they are 10, 12? They will not listen to you. Any intelligent human being will listen to your bullshit. Yes or no? Unless you are brought up on it seriously. That's on a serious note. So, just handle this privilege sensibly, respectfully. Do not abuse this privilege. Just tell them your job is to protect them from wrong influences rest let them free if you think they will go anyway go wrong that may be your own self-knowledge that's all you are so sure about yourself my children bound to go wrong just protect them you have you have to protect them from wrong influences but at the same time they must Remain free of your influences, which is also a bad influence. I'm saying, if you show that what you are doing is of real worth, and you are willing to invest your life in that, 
why would your children not invest their life in it? If you shouldn't show that commitment, if you do not show involvement with life and you're expecting them to be wonderful whatever, no, it will not happen. And they don't listen to what rubbish you say. They are observing what you do and how you are, isn't it? So if you want to raise children, please raise yourself. Don't worry about the children. Just raise yourself into a wonderful human being. Make yourself that. It will reflect. It cannot go wrong. But there is no guarantee.